Hey, so another quick video to answer some questions here about the chest mod. Um, one of the common questions is, hey, the chest mod works when it gets power, like it opens and closes the chest, but in the game it doesn't actually do anything. And so uh, really what that probably comes down to is the switch on the chest mod. And so the switch we're talking about is um, this guy right here, this little leaf switch or uh, uh, micro switch, mini switch. Um, it gets that, that middle part, the tang gets bent by us when we send it out. Um, so maybe um, yours isn't bent enough for your game or maybe it didn't get bent. Uh, but that is pretty much the crucial component to making uh, the chest know when the uh, when the forks are activated or not. So with your bracket installed, you should be able to see the switch right there and the white bushing right below it that's contacting it. And that bushing is what needs to actuate the switch. So when the forks go up, and you can manually do that just by pushing these bushings out of the way, they'll lock up there, the switch is gonna be in the open position. Um, if you have the game on um, and there's power to the mod or you just plug a USB plug into it, um, you can test it using this switch. So you just pull it in, hear the click, and then just wait half second to a second. It needs a little bit of a delay to actually open. Uh, and then the chest should open and then, um, or should close. Um, and then when you let go of the switch, it should open. And it makes, needs like a half second uh, to do that. So if that's actually working and you hear the clicks, then you know um, really it's just the alignment of the switch. And so what has to happen is when this bushing comes back down, it needs to contact the switch enough that it makes that click. And if it doesn't, all you have to do is bend this metal piece down. Easiest way to do that is to push it all the way up with one finger. So you're holding it up against the, the switch body and then you use either another finger or some pliers or something to bend this tang even further down. Um, and, and that will give it more um, area to contact by that, that bushing and will uh, make it clean and uh, a good contact each time. So, uh, and then to release the bushing, um, there's a little catch lever right here on top of the solenoid that you just press down and it will send it all back. And so you can test it to see if that bushing now contacted the switch. It's easy to tell if you can come in here and make it click when the bushing's down, then it's not adjusted enough. Um, so you just push the bushing out of the way, bend that tab down, tang down a little more, and then see when the bushing comes back, does it push it up enough to uh, to make contact? Mine's not really installed all the way or properly, so um, so don't pay attention to that. But uh, that's the idea. Someone asked about this brass screw here. Uh, I have no idea what it does. Um, I can tell that it's some sort of stop for the um, for the coil when it comes down. Um, you know, obviously the coil can rest on it. I don't know if it needs to be held up for some reason. Um, so maybe if someone out there knows, they can they can mention that. But yeah, it doesn't on mine. It doesn't seem to do anything. It's it's below the lip of the collar there. So it doesn't doesn't even get contacted, I don't think. So there you go. Hopefully that that helps with some adjustments on the uh, the chest and why it might not might be uh, opening and closing during gameplay.